need to. Whoops. Notice stretch. <clears throat> yeah, let's see if I can look now. But yeah. Hi Carol. Hi Sylvia. I'm just sorting my PC out. Um, my brain's not working tonight. I will tell you that now. Hi Chris. Right, where are we? Video. Oh dear, two weeks I've been off the air and I can't remember how to do it. I'm useless. We'll get there. Um, right, refresh. <clears throat> I'll tell you, no, 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 she's not my special guest tonight. <laughs> It's not a kitty cat. <laughs> um, right. Hopefully, I can find myself. Hey! That's it. So, of course, the cats have been. Hi, Renee! Um, <clears throat> the cats have been asleep until now. Hi Louise. Right. I'm just Hi Louise. Right, let me mute myself. Don't want to hear myself. That's oh that's it. <clears throat> I think we're ready. Thank you very much. <laughs> If I start coughing, I've got a drink. I've got cough sweets just in case. Because <laughs> once I start coughing, I can't stop. But never mind. Right, we are live. <sighs> you can just see Tilly's ear sat in front of me. Yes, he's having a scratch now. Right, so, looks like we're all sorted, hopefully. Right, <clears throat> so, oh, hello, good evening and welcome. Lorna Carter from Lorna Carter's Creations, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based here in the UK. So, hello, after a fortnight off, I'm finally feeling more myself <clears throat> i do apologize i've just had a bath so my hair's washed and i don't uh, well it's tough <laughs> what you see is what you get that's me oh dear so we uh, this week we're going to be making a quad pop card um i don't know what it's actually called but that's what i've called it it's a card that was inspired by now I apologise because I'm not very good at pronunciation. Um, Shrushti Patil. And you can find her on uh, YouTube. She's got some fabulous um, fun folds. Um, and I will be... I'm going to be making one of her... Um, like a little al card album as well. So, uh, yeah... <clears throat> <clears throat> that's in the few next next few weeks whatever so uh, once we get the show over and done with our monty's just arrived so uh, i don't know right let's get started because it might take a little while but first i would like to introduce a special guest this evening now we're hoping it's going to work okay so we will have a go we had a go just before i went live so uh, let's see so let's see if i can oh, 
hopefully somebody might be appearing hopefully it worked earlier yes <laughs> <laughs> i had a minor moment of panic because i pressed the wrong button before <laughs> So that's terrible to some. <laughs> We're still coughing with a COVID club. <laughs> this is it, the COVID club, yes. The oh. COVID club. <laughs> oh. Now I can't see comments coming up. Can you still see comments? I can still see comments. That's good. So if this doesn't work for everybody's viewing, I'm going to make along with you and just chat to you. <laughs> but if this doesn't work for everybody, oh, I can see comments. Hi, Sylvia. <clears throat> so if this doesn't work for everybody's viewing, and if they can't see the screen well enough, then I can disappear. Hi, Renee. Oh, it's so <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, we better get started, I suppose. Yes, over to you. <laughs> right, I'll turn my camera around. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> it's very exciting. Oh, we've oh. got three pictures now. Look at your little face in the middle. <laughs> How's oh, that got no. on? I, I know why, it's a computer. <laughs> oh dear, there's no way, if I tell you. Right. <laughs> Let me. Hello, Puss Puss. We've got Tilly. Hello, Till. Are you going to move, mate? Mm. <laughs> oh, dear, there's no way. Right, so I just want to make sure. Where's my space? There. Yeah. I think so if, I, if I'm um, crowding the space too much, you might you might ditch me. I will be offended. <laughs> so, if anybody is struggling to watch, George has got a wine. Look. If anybody is struggling to see, just put a note up and. And we can sort it. It's the only way we can do it like this, unfortunately. Am I, am I really close in? Yeah, you are a bit. Hold on. That's better. That looks a bit better. You could even go further out. Ginny's watching. Hi, Hi, <laughs> Thank you. Can you go any further out? Like, I want to say, back, I want to say, back it up, dude. Back it up, back it up. <laughs> it's on it. Oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. <laughs> oh, do you have an echo, Louise? Wonder why. Right. I wonder if my mics are too. Um, you got your computer mic on as well. No, my mic's off. Is it? Is it? Can can they hear from from yours when I'm talking? Maybe, but I need to be able to hear what you're saying. I need to mute Lorna. Oh, do you need to turn down? Maybe. Because if I mute Lorna, I won't be able to. I won't be able to hear what, what she's saying. Oh, can you hear me now? now? I can hear you. If I talk quietly. I think it's me that that was that's. Hang on, I've got two microphone buttons. What about if I turn your mic off? But I won't be able to hear you then. No. And it's the object of chatting. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I could chat for England, does anyone know? <laughs> <laughs> Gold medal chatter. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> will I? Anyway, we'll give it a try well, and see, see how it goes. Let's see how we go. 
Louise, yeah. just keep us informed. And if and if my if my presence ruins everything, I shall just disappear gracefully. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let me move that out of the way. I'm hoping we might have enough space. We might not. It's on me. Oh. Hmm. So the echo is me. I haven't got an echo this end, listening to you. But then again, I suppose I'm connected to you. Is that any <coughs> better? I can hear myself. Hmm. Is it a, a mega noise? <laughs> I love this, it's right fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right, let me start. <laughs> and if we have to mute her, we have to mute her. <laughs> <laughs> right. It is. It is echoing, I can hear it. Are you sure you've not got two devices on? Because it usually gets an echo when it's two devices. Because you got me other, got me. Your laptop is your laptop muted. My laptop's muted. Yeah. Sorry, folks. Just let me. Where's my... Don't tell the cats, but there's a mouse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm just seeing if I can um, do something in my settings, just quickly. Uh, How is everyone this evening? I'll just chat to your audience for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, so I think um I think Lorna and I are on the mend anyway. We've both both had the COVID. <laughs> we blame <laughs> with Riff Raff. <laughs> we at the, on the same weekend we went shopping. <laughs> Don't do that again. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> I wouldn't care, but we went shopping and we didn't even get what we went for. We got COVID instead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's all right. I'm just, just. I'm not a techie. This is my problem. Oh. Is that any I have no idea. better? No, I can still hear myself. About. <clears throat> I can. I'm going to try turning your mic off on mine and then see if that helps but i won't be able to hear you then no oh hang on it didn't do it i have joined the video as a guest it's telling me i'm not able to do that i don't think just brings me up a comments bar that's not any better is it but i don't know because i don't have an echo for you I'll just sit here and take my medicine. Is that, is that any Coffee. better, Louise? <laughs> I'm just going to pop some sentiments on some blocks because I've had a sneak peek and I think I know what I need. Right. Well, I can, I can still hear myself. We'll have to get to the bottom of that. Yeah. No, it's no better, Carol. So if I mute myself. Is that any better, folks? That's still no better. Mmm. Oh, oh it is. So, 
it's obviously the difference is me joining i'm thinking that it's feeding back through through my phone so, so let me just switch my mic off again right hopefully we'll get started can you see me okay folks let's go right okie dokie <clears throat> So we're making, I've got to show you what we're making. This card made with um, the Quiet Meadow stamp set. And I've also used um, Go To Greetings stamp set for the sentiment and also a sentiment out of Sentimental Park. So this is the card we're going to be doing. It's all um, blended and stamped in the back. You can use DSP um, and cut your flowers out. But when you open, you get the pop-up. And there is four. You can see the mechanism in there. Would I be better on full screen? Sorry, I was just unmuting myself to say, if you want me to go, I'll go. <laughs> I don't, people have tuned in to see you make a beautiful card, so I don't want to be okay. just don't. the fall guy in the corner drinking wine, <laughs> getting in the way. <laughs> But it's lovely to join in and say hello. <laughs> so uh, I was, I'm going to press the goodbye button. I'll speak to you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love you, everyone. I've got FOMO now. Aww. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Is that better? Hopefully. Let's get going then yeah it looks complicated chris but it's not that bad once you've got your head round it's four little mechanisms all the same to make it pop so and then i haven't done any put anywhere to write your greet you well you your message you could put something on the back okay okay so let's get started okay so i have a standard piece of a4 cut in half what we're going to do is it's just a normal <coughs> It's just a normal card base, so we're 21 centimeters by 14.8 centimeters, and we're scoring at 10 and a half on the long side. I have also done these in uh, measurements for the US as well, Renee. So um i'll put them up so we've got them i just want that bell folder right so base this is the new bubble bath cardstock love it absolutely love it it's fab my i think it's going to be one of my favorite colors um so we've used with this we've used um they're all new lemon lolly that's the bubble bath and boho blue so those are the three colors we're using we're also using memento so let's crack on 
I have all my pieces cut I will go through all the dimensions and also the dimensions will be um, listed in the description on my YouTube channel um, I'm just going back right okie dokie so we have black and white pieces of card quite a lot right so i'll start with the basic white so we've got one piece of the front which is 13.8 by 9.5 that is for the front we have two pieces uh, seven and a half half centimetres by 13.8 centimetres they are going on the inside of the card I also have two pieces two and a half centimetres by 10 centimetres that's for the inside of the card and then totally up to you you can either do six centimeters by six centimeters for your squares or with your stylish shaped dies i have used this size the second one down the square so i've just used that but you can just cut six by six centimeters so that's your white card stock your black cardstock we have one at um 10 centimeters by 14.3 centimeters we have two at, at eight centimeters by 13 point uh, no sorry 14.3 i'll have them all written down so don't panic if i muddle you up and i can't remember is he if i give you um for the inside did i give you the full pieces like they put on the front i can't remember but i've decided it's better like that it's not as bulky and um, so that's those we've then got <coughs> two pieces 14 centimeters by seven centimeters we've got two pieces three centimeters by 10 centimeters and then these are for the mechanisms four pieces five centimeters by four centimeters that, that is what we need so first things first i'm going to put the black back over there we're going to quickly decorate all our pieces so i need my brushes So we need oh, that one blue. We need um, yellow and the pink. Right, scrap of paper just on the back. So. We'll start with these two. This is the inside. I'm going to start with the lightest colour first. I've got limited space because I've got a cat with a back to me. You look all right, scraggy old muffin. You do, Mrs. And I've also got kitty glitter on my ink pad. 
colour. So I'm just testing. It's a beautiful colour. Love this. I love I love all the new colours. So all we're doing is we're just putting a bit of colour randomly. As dark or as light as you want. Doesn't matter. I might actually do the front on here as well. We can do it all together. Look. So just random. How pretty is that? It's gorgeous. Love it. Okay. Let's do each colour. We'll do it. Each colour. Hopefully. Let me put that there. Can you see me okay? Just move that out. And we're just doing the same on all these. Something cut just any which way. Kitty glitter. Doesn't matter how you have it. I was going to prepare these earlier but or a couple of them but unfortunately i didn't get time okay we'll do all the colors together <laughs> kitty glitter yes <laughs> if only they sold kitty glitter <laughs> i'd be i'd be worth a fortune <laughs> <laughs> oh dear uh, I don't know Right So that's Lemon Lolly Done with Next Let's pop that away um, It's Bubble Bath What a name I love, love it so pick some of that up and I'll just start any which way. We are going to put blue on here as well. But... Oh, crikey, I'm having a hot flush. Whew. I've got winter open, I'm that warm. I'm surprised. We haven't heard the dogs actually. There we go. Yes, we've got plenty of kitty glitter today. Tilly, you're molting. There we go. You can do it as little. Can you see me? I'm keep going, bringing it towards me. Well, that's one of my hairs. We're all molded until, aren't we? Okay, so, so you can do this with DSP just cut but i just liked i like the style of this just. So just anywhere can you hear me chair squeaking <laughs> squeaking away <clears throat> right. 
I suppose we, you could actually do one big piece and then do this on on it all and then cut it up it's up to you there we are nearly, nearly. so we're going to be using some blends um to colour the image in of the flowers. Um, so what colours have we got? We have old olive for the green. We've got um I don't have lemon lolly blends, so I've got um daffodil delight. And then we've got bubble bath and flirty flamingo so there we go last one for the pink Oh, tell you what, it's hard work, this. Okay. Got a mark on there, but hey, hey. Right. That is the pink one done. And then boho blue. So, pick this up. And then, oh, should have gone off a bit, but never mind. Doesn't matter. It's all handmade. I keep forgetting they're really, really juicy. So, we've gone a bit darker with that, but never mind. Not quite as subtle, but so as you can see, the blue turns some of the yellow to green, and I just think <laughs> oh, Louise, good for bingo wings. Yes, I definitely need that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh dear. So I just thought the blue just gives it that little that little pop. And it makes the lighter colours stand out. So it's just random. I mean, you could, in the middle, you could actually leave one of these white if you wanted to write on, on it on the, in the side. Write your greeting. But uh, I decided not to. I will put a panel on the back. But also what I was thinking. Um, it's because it is quite um that's the kids on the street oh bless them um because it's uh, works quite a bulky card um it'd be quite expensive to post i would say um it wouldn't definitely it wouldn't go as a normal size it has to go as a large i think um there we go right i thought we'd put some ribbon round so we'd have some ribbon to hold it 
or I didn't do on this one because I didn't realise how it's quite a strong mechanism. So if you just leave it open, it gives you, it's quite wide. So I thought if we put some ribbon round, we can tie it shut. So we'll use some of this black and white gingham. Yeah, purple, yeah, well, definitely. Louise. <coughs> right. So, I'm just going to bring that other side through. So, out of the Quiet Meadow set is this beautiful floral um, display. So, just mounted it on a block I'm just going to ink up with the memento and you can put this okay. I'm going to go that way so I'm going to put that down there There we are. Clean that up later. Right, so also in the kit, in the kit, also in the stamp set, we have the script, the dotty stamp set, and um, the flower. So I'm going to, I'm just reminding myself, yeah, in with the pink and so we can do it. Second generation, first generation, doesn't matter. We can do it anywhere. Okay. Doesn't matter. And in with the flower. And you can, it's only just visible. I'm not bothered if it goes over the flower, the flowers. Okay. There we go. We'll have a little bit of that side. Oh, cat's tail. There's no wonder there's kitty glitter in here, Tilly. Um, and then we don't want that again actually um what did i use oh it's all right i use the pink but the pink the dotty in the pink so with this just stamp in wherever just like a collage Okay, aren't you happy? Just pop that one to one side, we'll colour that in a second. Okay, pop that over there. So we have four for the inside. Okay, so if I just bring in, so all I've done, I've used the same floral uh, stamp, um, centred it in the top off to the left on the bottom and then just a couple of the florals the flowers i just thought it just if you're stamping in black it just picks it out and we've got we've still got the backgrounds stamped okay so let's let's do this while we've got it out let's do 
and I say this is random just oops, just random because the focus will be on the black image okay it doesn't matter if you overlap and then say so i'm just not taking a lot of notice i'm just just randomly stamping don't be afraid just go for it okay so then and it's such a subtle color this bubble bath <clears throat> but you can just you can just see it even on the blue okay right let's put that one so that's done with that for a few a few minutes let me bring my memento back in okay so let me just can you still see me all right i need to look a bit you get carried away when you get stamping i'm afraid so I'm just stamp like that and again just off to the side. Okay, just so we've got that little bit of something on each of the <clears throat> oh. just I'm not true to myself to a new chamois in fact three new chamois so ink the flower up what i will say is when you're using the script stamp set that is you can read some of the words so just make sure you've got one that it the right way around um there we go so we've got those four so I'll pop them we'll color them all in together oops Oh, I don't know about anybody else, but it's very, very dark outside. It looks like it could rain. Surprise, surprise. Right, back with my pink. And my scrap piece of paper. So we're just doing the same. Oops. Oops. And just on all of these. So it doesn't matter if you overlap them. It does not matter at all. It's 
very therapeutic. Look at stamp all day. I really could. So I've gone mad with that, but hey, why not? Script stamp. Okay, and this one. Fine, I've gone over it, but it don't matter. So you'll not be, barely be able to see this on <clears throat> screen, I think, looking at what I can see from here. I'll, I'll hold it up in a minute. So I'm going to just put some of the dotage on. Don't you just love a dotty stamp set? Splat, whatever. Okay. And then just a little bit. I haven't put the script on there. With it being so small. Okay. That is it for the colours, I believe. Oh. Cracky. That was sick. Is it blurry? I didn't know if it was or not. But if I do that, I'll just wait for it to come up on. You can just see. So it's very subtle. Very subtle. Just randomly stamped. So there you go. Not quite sure why it would be. You can see the script that's all right i'll just put it down a little bit further just to see right so we've now got all our pieces all stamped we just need to color in okay so the ones that don't need coloring in let's put those over there so all i've done <clears throat> as i say i've got old olive light and dark start with those just to do the stems Um, say so we're no mega artist, colorist, whatever. We're just giving it that bit of color, and that the black obviously makes it pop. Okay, just gonna go in with your dark. Hi, Shaz. Nice to see you. I'm wondering, um, Louise, if it's the internet. I know it's not normally like it. Right, so that is that one. I'll do the green on these. I say it doesn't take a lot. 
Just the color I'm in. How are you doing, Izzy? <laughs> yeah, it usually is crystal clear. I thought that. I wonder if it's anything to do with. I don't know. I'm going to say the how I've coloured it. But it's very muggy here, so I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. Um, so, light and dark bubble bath. I'll go with the light. Just all around. Say so, no fancy colouring at all. <clears throat> then the dark. And then I have the light <clears throat> flirty flamingo. Can't pick it up. So we've got that, and I've just got the yellow to do. So it's just very simple colouring. You could use um, you could use um, stamp and write markers. You could use um, watercolour um, pencils. It doesn't matter. You just want that bit of colour just to set it off. All pinks look the same to me. It was a nightmare. Look how the birds are singing outside. It's lovely. Just very dark and overcast. Okay, that's that one. No, I can't. I, I can't see the blends, uh, the labels. I've really got, got to. My eyesight's not the best at the best of times, even with glasses on. So just that bit of colour. I say it just makes them pop. So I'm just and with the dark. So, yeah, I could colour all day. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh. 
and then I'll do these. Um, so just the same. We're just doing the same. Um, right. Bubble bath. Make sure I've got the right end. So it's a very pale pink, but you can see it over the blended background. And you'll even see it better when obviously we get the darker ones on. <clears throat> And I'm just, I'm not, not, I'm not worrying about where I'm colouring. It's got lines on there if you want to use them to colour. Uh, oh dear, that's it. So it just, I think that the flirty flamingo just makes it pop that bit more. That's fine. No worries, Renny. That's fine. I'll pop the um, sizes up for you not, not a problem so just quickly is that no So we're not we're not fussy about the colours, we're just making sure they stand out. Oh, end. oh crikey, I'm so hot. I can't believe how warm it is. I don't have any heating on. It's my age, it must be. Okay, and then... Daffodil Delight. I'm just giving it a bit of shade. That's those. <clears throat> and then I'm just going in with the dark one for these. Just in the centre. Just so you can see. Pinks. Pinks has come to see us now. So that is those all coloured in. So it's not that bad. Okay. Oh yeah, we've had thunderstorms this afternoon, Shaz. Rumbling, rumbling about it was. So that is our piece right i'm going to pop those to the side now i'm going to concentrate on these two narrow i don't need that anymore and out of go to greetings oops i am using this happy birthday it's quite a, a nice um nice font i really like that <clears throat> so 
So, we're doing this in Memento. Let's see if we can get it straight. Oh, oh thank you, Maxine. <laughs> See if we can get it straight. Oh, oh, it's not too bad. It's been worse. So that is that one. And then from Sentimental Park, we're using Dear Friend, Let's Celebrate and You. Okay. So. We'll do, do ink the up. I'm just gonna stamp that. That's better. Right. So we need you. I'm just because a photopolymer are clear and the blocks are clear. There we go. And we'll just do the let's celebrate. Let's celebrate you. And then, last but not least, I forgot about this bit. Um, piece of black, piece of black. Right, I forgot. We've got a tiny little bit of heat embossing, something I've not done for a long, long time. So, embossing body, just to take all the greasy marks off. We want dear friend. We want first the mark. You can see we've got kitty glitter on there as well. So, first the mark. We're just. In that, pop that over there, put in that in a bit. Oh, I can't get in it. This is the white, do it that way, white embossing powder. Just gonna be a bit crazy, so just like that. Press too hard. Brush. Hi, Mom. No, come out way. It's got to be nosy. It's got to be in it. It's got to be in everything. Okay, dear friend. And I'm just quickly keep them. We're just going to fussy cut this and stick it to the front. Just warm my There we go. Stands out ever so well. Love white and black. <clears throat> Sips. Right. 
There we go. Quickly. And it's very quickly, I'm not, I'm not, just going with the letters. Like so. There we are. Done. And that's our dear friend for the front. Right, let's start sticking. Um, I'll get my black pieces. Right, so we need the largest piece. So we can stick that on. Use my come on. Okay, stand up. So just pop in that one on there. Then the next two are just just make sure do, 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 that way. Just making sure I'm getting it the right way around. Right? There we go. Oops. And I will get it working. Sometimes I have a knack, sometimes I don't. No, I'm just checking that way. Right. It's that one. Right. So the two pieces that are fourteen centimeters by seven centimeters. We need to score in half at seven centimeters. That's one and two. Okay. Come on, bone folder. So you decide you're having this like a book. So once you've folded them, we're opening the book but on both of them. So we're then deciding where we're having Okay, so I'm going to go with something like that. Let's get these stuck on. Stand up again, just can't see. Uh, 
So I'm just make note, try and line it up as best you can with the other side. will work. Sometimes I've got it as a saying, sometimes I don't. <laughs> and then So we've got a little box. Like so. Okay. Let's stick our sentiment on. Oops, so we've got happy birthday. And celebrate you. Okay. Our dear friend, I'm going to stick on with glue. This is just going on the front of the card. And sweet tweezers. I'm going to go off this side, I think. So we just can't see me, can you? So I've just stuck that on, just on the front. Okay. So let's start putting this together. So on the front, is this piece. Kitty glitter. Okay, on the inside, we're going to put those two. <clears throat> oh. My throat, my voice, uh, mouth, ever so dry. Let's have a drink. So we're popping these on the inside to the outside. So the gap is in the middle. Hope that makes sense. There we go. 
I like the glue because I like that little bit of wiggle room. Right. So they will go like so. But I'm not putting those in until we've got the mechanism done. Right. Oh, what haven't I done? Dixie Lorna. I was going to put ribbon. I was going to put ribbon around there. Like so. So I could tie it. And I haven't done. So you can do that. I'm a dips. Brain not with it. Hey ho. And I got it out there to remind me. Right. What I'm going to do, you know how I like my little templates. Right. So this is this piece. Okay. And I've done this so we know where, how we're putting the um, mechanisms. And actually, so what you'd have, this is only rough. So for the bottom section here you would have two of the mechanisms and the bottom bit the flat bit is at the bottom but on the top you'd have it i know the crossover but there's only so at the, the top ones they go flat edge to the top so you'll see what what i mean when i start um preparing these i will make this a little bigger i will do a proper diagram but this is the actual size of the um mechanism so you need a pencil you need a ruler and you need a scoring tool so first of all and you do this on all four they're all four exactly the same so on the four centimeter side we're going to score at two so we've got a score line down the middle okay so we have a score line down the middle so if you do that on all of them i said they're all all exactly the same but i will do a template so you can see and the letter size card um it is a different slightly different measurement so we'll just concentrate on the um um center uh, centimeters because i'll put in the description below right so we've got our piece if i put that bit we've got our piece like so with the score line going horizontally okay we then need a ruler and what we're going to do 
I'm going to pop it to the bottom. I'm not popping it on the card, I'm popping it up against the card. And we're going to mark at, oops, two centimeters and three centimeters. Spin it round, exactly the same. So we're marking, putting a pencil mark at two centimeters and three centimeters. Yeah, I'll send you the template, that's not a problem. So all we're going to do next is we're just going to draw a line going across pick that up. from mark to mark. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. I'll just wait while it. Can you just see that? So I've got a score line going horizontally and I've got the two vertical pencil lines. So now what we're going to do next is mark from the bottom mark that we've just marked with the um pencil and we're going to draw across so we've got a diagonal going across to the middle so there's the middle and what we're doing is doing a diagonal and then we're going to do an arrow at this end so we're going to do opposite way there so if you look i ought to have got a white pen really black card's not very good so we're diagonally across hopefully that's that me. Can't see that. Can't see it. You can there. So we've marked diagonally. We've got a point. And what we're going to do is on this side, we're going from the top left corner to the center of that next line. So let me mark it so it looks like an arrow. The points are going in the same direction. Once you get the hang of this, it makes it so easy. Let me just get it to an angle. I reckon. Come on. Right. Hopefully you can see that. So we've got a point and a point. Okay. Does that make sense? If somebody had just passed comment. I don't know. I suppose I could actually. Let's quickly do it. So say this was, it's a bigger version. I'm just going to show you quickly. So a bigger version. What have we got? So if I did... Two seconds. I'll just do it double the size and then you can actually see it on a piece of... Okay, so what we're doing is we're marking, just ignore um, the size of it. So we're marking at two and th 
three centimeters okay. okay so because this is double the size just to show you yeah spin it round marking at two and three centimeters we're going to mark those lines we're going to put the fold in yeah they're all the same is he so we've got the fold down there so if i just put that line in so you can see and all we're doing is going from corner there and then we're doing if you think that's the arrow head these are the feathers at the end it's all the same direction so that's what you should get okay right i'll just quickly mark these up sorry i was going to do these earlier but i flew in from work and had my tea and had a bath and so we're marking them at two and three on the five centimeter side two and three two and three two and three so we'll just match all them lines up so once you've mastered this bit it's amazing what you can do and i'm just gonna corner to corner them feathers so remember arrow head and then it's feathers at the back arrow head and feathers arrow head and feathers anybody think i'm cracking up right so now we can see the lines we're going to score but we're not going to score all of them the reason why we have the pencil marks is so we could score these diagonals so all, all we're going to do is score with a diagonal okay so we've got a score down the center and then we've got four diagonal score lines so i'll just go round and do them all This is just the worst part about it, but it well I say once you get it. I 
I made it the other night for the first time and always, I always make it out of old card stock to make sure that I can get the mechanism to work. I don't like wasting, I'm a bit of a, if it doesn't work, there's no point in having decent card stock until you, you know it's going to work. Because the first one I did, I made a boo-boo. Right, so I've got all four done. Okay, so obviously we're going to be folding them in half. Okay, but then we need to bring it up. We're going to just help those diagonal folds and fold it in half like so so we've got that bit and then these two are folding back on themselves okay so we've got this shape if i show you on the blue So this is the shape we've got. We've got the indent and then we've got those folded out. Okay, it's not it's not focusing properly. For whatever reason. But hey. Right. So once we've got all those done, all folded. These diagonals, we're just giving them help. And then folding these back. Not just on all of them. Okay, it's that one, it's that origami. And it does, it does come together. Once you get them, just make sure they're lined up. And you should have four little they know whatever they are okay right so i'm gonna sh i'll show you with this one <clears throat> what we're gonna do so we have our booklet which one did i do let me do the bottom one this is the bottom one okay so this is the bottom bit so, as I said, uh, for the bottom, we want the flat edge to the bottom. So, if you look at it like this, it, it's not these that I turn back, it's the ones that we've turned in. So, we've got this little wiggly bit. Okay, that is going to be stuck like so. Okay, so we need to put glue on these two pieces, pop that, that there, and they just need to be a, just a tiny little bit off the bottom. Okay, so let's get some glue. And we're just going to put a little bit on that tab. 
Okay. So that's it. And we're going to get, get it level. So we've got it both sides. And we're just going to press and hold for that to stick. Okay, so if we get another one, same thing, these two wings, glue those, and that is just going to go just above the one we've just put on. hold it and then you can see okay so we've got two mechanisms okay so we'll do the top bit so we're just, just going to have the book like so but this time it's going to the top the straight bit is at the top so like, like the straight bit was at the bottom here on the bottom one the top one is going flat at the top okay so a bit of glue on to the top just make sure it's square just holding that and then the last one just the same glue in there you want the flat bit at the top and it just goes below that one i hope that makes a sense okay right so we'll leave the top one just to glue this one will have glued a bit so we still get the opening what we're going to do is place the piece down the points that are on the left hand side need to be just against or just a little bit um not right on the fold just a little bit to the right okay Okay, so that's how it's going to look. And then this one will be the same from the top. So just make sure Okay, so we've got that tiny little gap in the middle. And we're just going to stick these down now okay so if i take the top one spin it, spin it over it's all sticky and just on the, these tabs here the one that i folded back we're just putting a little bit of glue on just on this one side okay so we'll put that in place again Just put that down like so. I'm just going to hold those. <clears throat> so the stick. And we do the same with the bottom. We're going to flip that over and on these tabs. 
I'm going to pop glue on. So we're just lining that up. Like so. Just press and hold. And then what we're going to do is the little flaps that are on this side, we're just going to add glue to them all. Yes, it's been a bit long winded tonight. I do apologise. But I'd sooner give you a thorough demonstration. So all we're going to do, hold those down, fold the card, and then just hold it to stick. You can feel the bulkiness. Okay, so when you open it, I haven't given it enough time to stick. We're nearly done. While I'm waiting for that to stick, I'll tie my bow. You know how long it takes me to tie a bow. Funny is, this is the black gingham. Black and white gingham ribbon, bunny ears. Through more fingers and thumbs. There we go. Let's give it a bit of what's it? Blimey. Not like me to be able to do a bow. We go. I'll cut that. So, so I'm going to stick the bow on with a glue dot. There we go. Pop it there on the flowers. You can pop some bling on there if you want. Just make sure. Just, just making sure that's down. Now it will not open fully because of your mechanism, but you get your pop up. Okay. So all we need to do now is our little panels. So we're opening up and we need to see where we want to be. Okay, I'm going to put some tear and tape on these. There we go. 
But final pace. Well, cats have all abandoned it. Oh, Monty's is still in the window. Right. So, I'm just, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Just so you can see it when it's opened. You got it to work. Well done. So once you get once you get the gist. There we go. And there we have it. It would have been better if I'd remembered the ribbon, but hey, I can't remember everything. After only having two hours kit last night, I don't think I've done too bad. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So it'd be better, as I say, with a bit of ribbon, just to close it. But when you open it, I mean, how beautiful is that? I think it's lovely. And you can either leave one of these blank and write on it, or you can put a panel on the back and write on the back. But there we go. That is our card. I know it's been long-winded. I do apologise. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, is he? I'm not going to teach anybody how to sort of <laughs> Oh, dear. Right, where's my other? That's it. There we go. So, same but different sort of thing. But it's the same, really. I didn't put enough glue on that, on that one. But yeah, so I just thought it was something different. You could even put photographs on here. So uh, yeah, I'm pleased with that. I like that. So I'll next. I don't know. What I'll it'll be something simple next week. But um, I am planning on making one of. Um, um, Trush, oh, Trusty's Patel, uh, Pat Patil. Oh, get me, get me words right. Um, one of her little card albumy things. So, uh, yeah, I will. Um, I will sort. Right. I. Will We'll love you and leave you now. It's been, nearly been two hours. Sorry for the delay at the beginning. It was just, we thought it would be nice. We'll have to work it out. Maybe if one of us has, uh, as as Renny said, if one of us has um, earbuds in. So, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. And all the well wishes for the last couple of weeks. So, uh, oh, bless. Once you've done one, I'd love to see it. I really would. I hope I haven't bored you all too much. <laughs> right, I will love you and leave you all. And we will see you next week on Tuesday. Thank you very much indeed. Take care. Bye.